we're looking at geometric series today. And the big idea with the geometric series is, again, geometric being to multiplying, be multiplying by a certain value, uh, similar to arithmetic, uh, but it's going to basically just be a sum of all the terms in a geometric sequence that they're asked of you. So you're going to see that summation notation once in a while. So for our question here, they give us a recursive for formula with the first term and then the next following terms. They want us to figure out the series from 1 to 5. So they tell us what 1 is. It's 3. And then to get each next number, we need to multiply by 2. So the next number will be 6, then 12, then 24, then 48. So if we go ahead and add all these numbers together, we're going to end up getting choice 3, which is 93. So again, you're still finding a sum, but the terms you're getting are found by multiplying or dividing. Um, we're going to go over and skip exercise number 2. And we're going to go right down to number th exercise number 3. I'm actually going to pull up the top of the page the next page, and um, so we're going to use this to this formula to help us figure out that geometric series. You see the formula down here, okay? And some of the same notation we saw before. So if we have some sort of series with n terms, it's the first element, the first term, times one minus the common ratio raised to that n power. And it's over 1 minus, in this case, r, which again is that common ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and write that formula. And again, if it was a test or quiz, you'd be given the formulas for these. So it says right here, the sum of the geometric series with 8 terms. So 8 terms, that's going to be n whose first term is 3, and the common ratio is 4. So, we have to find a series of 8 terms. The first term is 3, and then it's going to be 1 minus 4 to the 8th power over 1 minus r, which is 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type that into the calculator. So I need a fraction, so I'm going to do alpha y equals to get a fraction. And then I have in the top, I have three parentheses, 1 minus 4 raised to the 8th power. Then close my parentheses. On the bottom, I have 1 minus 4. So in this case, the sum of those first eight terms is going to be choice number 4, which is 65,535. Now for exercise 4, we got to find the value of the geometric series shown. <laughs> so, we start off at 6, and it looks like we are increased by multiplication, and then our last number is 768. Now, we're going to have to, like we did before, we're going to have to use our formula from earlier, because we got to figure out how many numbers are going to be in the sequence. So, I can use this formula for our geometric sequence to help us figure out, in this case, what n is going to be. Now, I know that the last term is 768, the first term is 6, and I know by multiplying, I'm multiplying by 2. So, in this case, what we'll do at the start is we'll divide by 6. 
So we got 768 divided by 6. Which would be 128. Now we have to figure out what power n is going to have to be so that we get 128 out. And for this one, because we didn't talk about logs yet, we'll have to do a little guess and check. So we can kind of figure out 2 to what power. So like if I did 2 to the 6th power, it's going to be 64. If I 2 to the 7th power, it's going to be 128. So I know that 128 is going to be 2 to the 7th power. So to get 7, n is going to have to be 8 in this case. Then, I can go ahead, now that I know what n is, I'm just going to erase that part and put that n is 8. I know there's 8 terms. We know what the first term is 6, and then it's 1 minus the ratio, which in this case was 2. And there's 8 terms. And on the bottom, it's going to be 1 minus the common ratio, which is 2. So you could type this in the calculator right now to figure out what that final answer is going to be.